Uh, give me a minute to get all this set up. I'm going to try something new here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. Uh, and if this goes well, hopefully I'll do more things like this in the future. Okay, so there we got a chessboard, but um, what's going to make this unique? I'm going to capture another window. I think you guys already know what this is about, but just in case you don't, uh, let's do it. Oops. Um, capture that. And I don't know if this is going to fit or not, but I mean, normally I test these things out pretty thoroughly before going live, but I don't want to keep you guys in the dark for too long. There we go. So, how do I fit this in the same uh, display as my other window? I'm not going to do a monitor capture because that just doesn't look cool at all. So, I'm going to find a way to make this work. I think to make this work, I've got to either make my browser not as large or capture less of that. Let me capture just uh, the width of the game board here. And let's see if that looks okay. Move this over. Hmm. I think I can do better. Actually, that doesn't look bad. That looks pretty cool. I mean, the only downside is you can't see the clock. So, you'll never know when the players are in time pressure. Um, now, let me just get this set up just so. Let me center this vertically. And now, does this look better? This looks... Oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, let me adjust the screen capture just a little bit there. Uh, so I want to capture just um, just the board. I think this will ever so slightly look better. And then let's preview that. Sure. Why not? Looks fine. Okay, let me get the chat up. Um, nope, that's not me. No, um, I'm at the moment I'm just uh, watching a game, but I'm about to start playing. So, while I get everything set up, um, let me just check that I didn't lose anything by doing that. Oh, okay, so that's still capturing. I can't get this window always on top now, can I? That's unfortunate. Let me quickly get one more thing here. So, there's a possibility this might not work as well as I'd hoped, but let's just uh, have some optimism here. Um, in fact, 
I'm going to resize my browser here so I can see the chat and play the game. So, I probably messed up my video capture. Yep, sure did. Let me fix the video capture. Oh, hey, now that the browser is not the same size, I can actually get more of the game in here. So, I think that looks even better. Nice. All right. So, let me start up um, games over here. Is there anybody in the five minute pool? Nope. All the pools are completely empty, guys. I think that's because the pool icons got moved from here to over to the pools tab and nobody knows it's here anymore. Um, that and possibly just the hour of the day at which I'm playing. So, let's put a casual seek out there. Um, Decrease the rating cap, random color, and while that's going, yeah, does anybody know how to play this game well? Because I'm not especially good at it. I mean, I like to think I'm okay at it, but I'm just um, deluding myself if I believe that in any way. All right. All right, e4, e5, no, can't, okay. This is what I was afraid of, is that I have to switch windows each time um, I want to make a move. So, this is where things get messy. Oops, shouldn't have done that. And by messy, I mean comical for you guys, right? Okay. So, um... This is a way to give a simul without giving a simul, right? Watch me lose Emble. Um, oh, now the whole thing where I called it Race to 2048, uh, ideally, I'd actually be playing rated games and trying to increase my rating, but uh, it's too late at night for that kind of thing. So I'm just going to content myself with playing more than one game at a time. And say that, oh, no, 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 okay, yay, whatever. Uh. Hmm, it's not my move yet, okay. Uh, that's not good. Hey, okay. Castles, I win a knight. My opponent's rated not as high as I'm rated. Oh, I won. All right, let's have a rematch. Cool. C4. D4. Knight c3, f3, e4, uh, bishop e3, let's pinketo the bishop, uh, knight e2, D5, uh, oh, this is not good, 
What do I do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, saved that. Um, B3 is hanging. Let's protect B3. I'm so, so trashed in my game here. Hey, I survived. Cool. Um, all right, now I'm almost trapping his knight. So let's do this. And do I win a knight? I think, oh, not quite. Just threatening stuff. Um, Okay, castle. Um, that looks dangerous. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, uh, okay. Shouldn't have taken that gamble. Uh, that's cool. Whatever. I think we all know where that game was going anyway. Um, let's continue development. Uh, oh, hey, look, I hung up on, except he didn't take it. Oops. Um, all right. Um, just develop. Really. I was going to do queen b2. Probably take a minute and focus on the chess game here. But where's the fun in that, right? Um, so. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, up, over, whatever, chaos, okay. Oh, I hung a pawn. Cool. Um, I can take on h4? I can take on c5. Yeah, that looks cool. Whee! I'm starting to wonder uh, which of these games looks worse at this point. Hey, I got my 256 block back um, into a spot where I can do stuff with it. Uh, hey, Trader Lynch, how's it going? Welcome. Any bets on which game I'll lose first? Um, Yeah, this uh, 2048 game looks over to me. 
But now the idea here is that if I were doing this for real, um, I would actually be playing rated games and seeing which of these I can get uh, to 2048 first. My chess rating or um, by actually getting the 2048. So... And I think the upshot would be is that you can't really get either one of them when you're doing this. But that doesn't prevent it from being amusing at all. I just have to remember, I should like leave a 2 or a 4 on the bottom row, so there's always something that I can do. And how is it not my move yet? Okay. Um, okay, let's redevelop, um, as long as I'm not walking into a fork. I almost am, but I mean, he's got all kinds of pawn forks and checks and other stuff to worry about here. Yeah, knight to e5, he falls to this. Unless he's got something really strong. Uh, now, I've been thinking for quite some time how could you have a stream where you've got something interactive going at each point? And there is some waiting in a chess game. So the thought was do something other than chess on the side. Um, well, that's cool. Oh, he's threatened knight f3. Um, except this kind of stops that. So, yeah. Hopefully I don't hang something, because that would be kind of embarrassing. Ugh, darn it. Okay, well that works. Fine. Everything's okay. Nobody panic. Okay, I'm losing this pawn. Knight's there. Everything's hanging. That's okay. Just play some goofy defensive move. If I could only find a way um, I could play moves on the one window without, like, each time I go back to the 2048 game, I have to click the window. Um, and, uh, uh-oh. Oh, hey, okay. That's fine. Um, oh, it's my turn. All right. Play this. I really need to pay attention on both windows. Knight to f4. Now that hangs this. Um, there's a musical version of 2048. Is there... Uh, if that has, like, the same browser window size, I'd be more than glad to give that a shot. Um, if I can, like, fit that in my display, yeah, I'd, that could be fun. Ah, uh, I'm panicking. And it's not my move. Why is it not my move? Why does he move so slow? I mean, yeah, I am higher rated. Oh, okay. Well, but, you know, that would mean I'd have to Google for it. You guys want to watch me Google? I can, I can do the Google like while I'm doing the 2048 and doing the chess, right? Let's see how many things can I get going at once here. Um, but only problem with doing Google is that you guys wouldn't see um, me doing this glorious 2048. But yeah, maybe. Um, actually, I'll show you another 2048 game. Um, I don't think that I could manage to do this in Blitz at the same time. 
Uh, that's made. Oh, he asked for a take back. I did not see the take back offer. But it's Blitz, so you can't feel too bad about missing that. All right, let's play Sicilian. I never play that. And let's do an accelerated something or other. Whee! Okay. Um, oh, watch me pre-move while I'm doing 2048. Okay. I'm not sure how to play this either, so... Um, Oh, it's not my move. Okay. You know, I need to think of a better way to know whether it's my move. I know there's a noise here, but it's not very pronounced. Um, play that to protect the A pawn. Okay, he's doing the obvious thing. Doing the thing all the players do. I know in Sicilian you're supposed to like play D5 to get some uh, counterplay going. But that's what he expects. And clearly I cannot choose the cup in front of me. So, um, at least not during a Blitz game. During a real game, yeah, you try to make good moves instead of just making unpredictable moves. Uh, I should play more carefully here. Um... All right, I survive. F4. Doesn't that trap his bishop? Yeah. Okay, and now I play queen b6, right? Oh, okay, so I'm not completely winning here. Um... Play d5 for obvious reasons. Hey! Good game. I'm so good. At hustling. Oh, he left. Okay, I might need a new opponent. Um, yeah, let's do another 5-2. Um. Oh, so that game is called 2048. So it's a pretty famous number puzzle game. Um. Uh, okay. Got an 8 into the corner. Uh, e3, right? So d5. Alright, e5. Let's play a couple moves here. And when he takes a minute to actually stop and think, then I'll go back to the 2048. Okay. Uh oh. I have blundered. I have to hit up. Okay. That could have been a lot worse, guys. That could have been much, much, much worse. Alright, he's going to take my bishop. They always. Oh, okay. I'm going to say beginners always take pieces. Um, Uh-oh. I'm in so much trouble in this 2048 game. Um, go for mate. I'm so hosed. Um, I'm so hosed. I'm playing 2048 because it amuses me. 
uh, and hopefully some of you as well. Um, because playing Blitz Chess uh, just on its own isn't challenging enough. All right. I'm in a much better position there than I used to be a second ago. Um, double on his knight, right? Or do I do something else? No, this looks reasonably strong, so I'll play it. Okay, ah! I miss that numbers combine when you when they're the same number and you put them adjacent to each other. Forgot about that. Otherwise, I could have lined up the eights there. Um. All right. I want to play g5. Sorry if I'm taking a minute to think here. Um. H3, I don't know. This is not as simple as it looks. No, I should just take here, and if knight takes, then I go for the mate. And if king takes, then I have all kinds of temporizing moves and stuff. Nope, I don't go there. That's too obvious. Let's go back here. Oh dear. Well, let's reserve some moves here. There we go. Um, Okay, B4. Um, should be trying to get a rook to their H6. How do I... Okay, I need to take more time on this chess game. My opponent's actually playing well. Yeah, I need my knight over there. Even though there's no immediate threat. I hit the wrong key. That's not good. All right. See, and against this, I just play that. The idea is that if I could win on one of these games, I'm probably losing on the other. And I think you guys would enjoy that more than if I'm just winning chess game after chess game. Um... Yeah, let me know if you'd actually like to see me play quality chess as opposed to um, just blitz chess. Uh oh. Uh, I lost. But on the bright side, um, got all kinds of threats here. And I can throw in f5 and f4. We are just going back and forth and back and forth. Arguably, the first half of 2048, you just hit the same keys over and over. And half the time, you'll get a really good setup. 
Um, we just hit down, left, right. Oh, you would go to two. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me type the link for you. It's 2048game.com. Or if you just type in 2048 in Google, it's the top result. But uh, let me type it out for you. Um, okay. I want to sack everything. beauty about this position is that I can just play it slowly and not worry about a thing, and he's constantly got these threats hanging over his head. And I'm down to one minute, so... Yeah, I, I should play with a strategy. Unfortunately, it's uh, almost 3 a.m., and I'm not playing very strategically. But yeah, I've read much theory about what's the right way to play 2048 and concluded that theory is no fun. Um, yeah, just play something like F4. Okay, uh, g4, if he takes it, I do knight takes, but he's not going to take it. And because he doesn't take it, now I have access to f3. I mean, I had access to that anyway, but my knight's now in h5. And let's bring my other rook over. He's just going to do silly things with his bishop. And, uh, Also, for those uh, interested, I'll be playing a Twitch ladder game. Um, uh, we'll say Saturday afternoon. So I would say tomorrow or I would say today, but that would confuse some of my audience. They wouldn't know which day to tune in. Oh, are you serious? It's still not my move? Okay, now it's my move. Let's check. Um, yeah, I take. And pre-move rook g2. And checkmate. That was fun, right? Okay. I can't blame my opponent. Yeah, I would just be playing in the pool. Oh, there's actually people in the pool. Um, yeah, let's play the 5 plus 5 pool. That could be fun. If I get a really good opponent, though, um, I'm not going to be doing this nonsense. But in the meantime... I might as well enjoy this opportunity. Um,
Oh. He's not ready for the pool. Okay, I need to go to a pool where there's actually going to be people there. Sorry, guys. So this means that I need to go um, to a five-minute pool. But uh, I'm going to lose so many rating points if I play there. So if I want a game, I've either got to go to a different like server or something. Or I've got to pick somebody's match request here. Um, okay. Well, let's do something different. Let's do King of the Hill chess. Unrated. Maybe I'll find somebody who wants to play that. All right, this is, yeah, they're, well, especially because they hid the pool icons, you're not going to find as many people there as you used to. Um, I have two legal moves. I have left and I have down. I'm going to take my chance with left. Okay, and because this particular arrangement is pretty terrible, I'm actually going to go with up. And they say you should never ever go up, but um, you only live once, they say. All right, this is better. Okay, it looks like my challenge to get somebody for King of the Hill is not going anywhere, so let's put out a challenge for just normal chess. Can I just get a 2 in that column? There we go. Oh, all legal, almost were legal? Okay. Well, that just shows what I'm seeing at this point. Um. Well, okay then. Apparently, nobody wants to play 5-minute with 2-second increment. Well, how can I make this more interesting for people? Um, okay, we'll make it rated then. Maybe we'll find somebody who wants to play a rated 5-minute game while I'm doing this nonsense. Okay, that was it. I'm playing against... I don't even know how you say that name. Let's get through the opening.
Um, my opponent he has a rating of 1500, which strongly... Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see that. I'm playing against... Uh, my opponent's name is Sarik, S-A-R-I-C-H, and then 11101111111. That might have been one too many ones, but um, yeah, my opponent's rating is 1500 here. Um, so I'm not sure what to expect. He is taking an awful long time to figure out what's going on here. So I have to give him credit for thinking oops, about it. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, this is not ideal. Um, I have to go left, don't I? Because if I go right and then down, I mean, that looks like awful. Bam! Oh, yeah. Look at those 2048 strats. Alright, uh, apparently my opponent does not know the Italian opening, or has some real-life consideration that's distracting him. Alright, I won. Yeah, I'm the best for now. Nothing's ever going to keep me down. Okay. Uh, I'm playing against WRED. A rating of 1633. Oh, hey, look, he plays um, a Ponziani. And now black's equal. And. Um, and develop my pieces in the castle. I uh, can't get away with knight f4 just yet. Keep increasing the tension. Um, how do I do that here? And I want to play knight f4, but um, it just doesn't lead anywhere. Play a5. Yeah, I'm not playing 2048 anywhere near correctly here. All right. Um, A4 is a good move. To continue development. Probably follow with rook a, rook to d8, or rook a to d8. I keep forgetting that if you put two identical numbers together, they will combine. And I mean, that's kind of the whole notion behind 2048. All right, probably going to follow g4. OK, he's intending knight e4. I'm not so worried about that, even if he lands a knight on c5. Actually, this gives me a shot to play knight to f4. If he plays bishop f3, I just take d3. Um, but no, if I play that, he plays knight e4 right away. So I've got to play this first. Now he plays knight e4, but now I just take. Um, yeah, you're right, I'm not making the best use of the top row, am I? So...
If I combine all that, I Okay, that's clever. Um, maybe I do queen e6. No, I don't like that though. Basically, anywhere my queen goes, he harasses it. So we're going to go to e6. Okay, and now I'm going to have to follow with bishop g6 or something like that. I'm going to play knight e4. Um, clearly intending knight c5. Also intending g4, but that doesn't actually work for him. If he plays it, I'll explain why not. Um, oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ha ha! Okay. All right, knight to d2. I always want to play rook d8 here. Also knight f4. Knight f4, I mean, that opens the d file. I'm probably threatening all kinds of tactical shots that I'm not seeing. Um, yeah, that's legal, but I'm winning a pawn. Sure, that's what you want to do. Okay, I'll take my pawn. I don't care that I'm not checkmating you. I'm winning a pawn. You're gonna take my queen. I'm gonna take this. No sense hesitating there. Um. All right, and now we take there. I play rook d8. I want to take a minute and figure out what's going on in the chess game. Ending f5. Um. And he has so many threats here, I can't... Um, I don't know what I'm saying there. I can't take on g5, because that exposes me to too many things. But in order to develop my rook, I have to play like this. And now he's no longer threatening knight e6 forks, because... well... Or at least 96 forks aren't anywhere near as potent as they used to be. Let's undevelop this king and get my knight into gear. Probably going to take here. Um, now he's even more likely to take. This is not king of the hill, right? Yeah. So I just win a pawn. Behold my magnificent strategy. Take pawns. Take, take, take. Pawns. Always take pawns. Pawn take good. Uh, okay, he's threatening this fork. Do I care? I'm playing much too cutesy here, but I'm not afraid of anything, so cutesy it is. I'd like to see knight e2 and then something like bishop c5 or some ridiculous checkmate. I could possibly try up when the 1024 was blocked, so the possibility to go the 1024 to the corner. Um, let me stew on that for a minute. Uh, 
There goes the one knight. Assume he's going to move his knight. Actually, he's going to win some pawns with that. Um, I could have done this much better. That's okay, I'm still totally winning. And here I just out edge his king. Um, so if I play c5, can I zugzwang him? I think so. Yeah, I certainly can. How, you may ask? How is my king going to make progress through this? Well, watch. King f5. Bishop a1. Oh yeah. And now his king does not have enough squares to stop my king from going to d4. Um, we're going to pretend that I played bishop b2, alright guys? I'm going to pretend that I did this right. They're going to go bishop d b2, he's going to do king c2, I'm going to shuffle here, he's going to go there, and now, the temporizing move, bishop a1. Now he has to play king c2 or something. Uh, and even if he takes my bishop at this point, this is just over. Let's see, does he challenge me? Does he insult me? What does he do? I mean, generally those are the two things that happen when I play a game. Oh, option three is he just leaves and chooses to play somebody else. It's a free country. That's legal. Oh, did I get paired against the same guy? I mean, if, to, if he objects to... Okay, so I'm playing red again. It's rating 1631. Oh, you guys can't see the timer. I need to find a way to display the timer so you can see the time situation. But trust that... I mean, if you guys want to see the actual timer, you could always go to the Lee Chess website and watch the game live there. Um, D5? Yeah. I like that game. That was a good game. Yeah, he takes, I take. Um, now, do I take on c3? I think theory dictates that I do do this. And I might even have to take his bishop if he does that. Yeah, this bishop is too strong. So white has a small nagging plus here. Not much I can do about that. I play bishop h5, expecting that he's not going to play g4. A number of players do play g4 anyway, but that doesn't mean that g4 is a good move. It just means that they play it. Okay, that's pretty uncommon. Out of all the times I've played this, I've not seen that before. Now my pawn's pinned. I mean, all my pieces are pretty much tied up at this point. 
Um, so I should be developing my rooks to active squares to deal with all these threats. Should also be pushing f6. Uh, he's intending knight g4 too. I need to proceed with caution. I'm expecting a draw in my game. Yeah, like I said, he's planning that move. Uh, he's got... Wait, he's kind of threatening a queen trade. I don't know that I fear that. Um, knight f7, bishop f7. He's not going to do queen takes because my rook would take. So let's induce some trades. That was fast. That was a really committal, really fast move. A lot of times when you're about to make a move that dictates a large portion of the rest of the game, you take more time to think about it. Uh, so at this point, he's up four minutes to three minutes. And I'm starting to feel a bit of time pressure. Um, I need to deal with threats to b7. So I'm going to put aside the 2048 for a second and focus on this. Alright, and um, the only reason I'm focusing on this is because he's starting to move faster and faster with every move. And if I don't keep up with him, he's going to outpace me on the clock, and I'm going to flag in a completely drawn position. Um, C2. All right. Gives me, well, at least now I'm winning the C pawn. Maybe more. Yeah, rook B2 doesn't look right. I agree. Just not harmonious with the rest of this position. Unless you can double rooks on the b-file and open the b-file. Well, I'm up material, so I'm not afraid of going into an endgame here. Again, that's like a super committal move that could potentially lose the game for you. So think before you play it. Here I've got a past E pawn. And two past queenside pawns.
Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Put my numbers closer to the corner. I think the idea is, though, you want to have a good balance. Like here I've got a high number and a low number. I'm sorry, you want to have like these snake around like so. Um, One of these games is not like the other. Which of these? Okay. You know, I'm going to do something more colorful on uh, the right soon. Yeah, I'm still done with that. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Does this work? Can you guys see that? Okay, I need to reset my capture area. So let me set this dimension to something that allows me to manipulate and resize. I think this might look okay. Um, I can do better there. All right. All right, so I won on time there. Maybe. I mean, okay, timeout. Black is victorious. Yeah, I'm not going to challenge him to a rematch. Uh, okay. Four nights. That's not the Halloween Gambit. Uh, and just castle. All right, if you're going to play these silly moves, you can play silly moves here. I'm going to do knight g5 at some point. They all play knight g5. Um, Thanks, I'll do my best here. Not threatening anything. Nope. 
Nothing's being threatened. Uh, I'm losing track of which are which there. Now, this looks like a classic um, thing, but it's not. Oh, it so looks like something that it isn't. Because my pieces are too slow here. There is no mate. But if I retreat, he plays bishop g5, and I'm toast. What do I do? What do I do when I'm this thoroughly busted? Hmm. I forgot that he has this knight here, so my triple attack on f2 just doesn't amount to anything. Well, okay, if I do this and he does bishop g5, I can do queen g3, king h1. No, I am just busted here. I've got a sack. Not good. Um... Well, okay, here's what we got to do. This is like absolutely terrible, but it's forced. So, here we go. Yeah, f5 was also um, something I considered. It also looked like way too slow for what this position needs. But, and uh, maybe that was my best try here. You notice the chess game has suddenly got my attention away from all those flashing icons on the right, which are sure to distract you. Um, I'm just going to play bishop f3 here. But what do I do next? Got to open the f file. I'd also kind of like to have access. I'd like to have his bishop move away first. But I can't force it to move off of e3. This is what I'm going to do. Um, see, this is how you swindle a game, is that um, you, don't, you don't go down without a fight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be accusatory and, um, it's hard to know what to do in every position. If you guys want, we could go back over this game later and analyze it. Um... Wait, this queen's not defended. That was a good try. Alright, do I take his bishop? If I do, um, he can take my bishop. Okay, now I'm up here, lots of material. And about to be up a lot more.
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. For those curious, the reason I have the promotion dialogue um, in my preferences is because I'm about um, afternoon. I'm going to be playing a ladder game. Um, and I don't want to accidentally promote to the wrong piece. Uh, okay, I'm playing against Heydari. Rating 1665. Oh, incidentally, my rating is at 2042. So I'm six points away from the 2048. Not that I was ever expecting to get 2048 during this ridiculous, ridiculous show here. That was like completely unthinkable. Um, laughably silly and whatever else you want to say about it. I was not seriously thinking that my chess rating would actually get to 2048. But, hey, a win's a win, right? So, okay, do I play knight? If I do knight h5, I think, I don't know. Wait, those kinds of ideas only work in a king's Indian. Here, he's got control of f4. So here, yeah, I've got to play it more traditional style. Um, this is queen d2. And, and the difference here is I can play f4. And his bishop's on. Oh, that's another difference. Yeah, don't forget about that one. All right, we'll call that a gambit, even though it was completely unintentional and pretty terrible. Hmm. Okay. On a scale of one to bad, being down a pawn here is pretty bad. Um, I don't want to use my king to hold this together, but I kind of have to. Yep, 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 yep. If I do knight e4, uh, tactics just don't work out for me. So I have to go knight d7. Ideas rook g8 and pray. Can I not? Okay, there we go. I'm impressed that he's taking so long to think about an important point in the game. That's a mark of a mature player. You don't just try to push somebody over on the clock. Which, unfortunately, that's my only resource at this point, now that I'm down upon with a pretty awful position. Um, the idea that I can come up with some strategic nuance to try to save this is kind of laughable. Affable, laughable, and whatever else you want to call it. So, um, why is his bishop there? He doesn't even want his bishop there. 
not even serving a useful role on that square. Sure, he's got this idea, but um, the more of my pieces get active, the more threats he has to contend with. And now that his bishop's on e7, it's almost trapped. Obviously, queen g3 loses the queen, queen h3 loses the queen. Almost every queen move loses the queen. And I'm still threatening queen e8. So, I'm going to play g3. But, I mean, uh, tactics are working for me here. And not working for him. He's forgotten to finish his development. And his pieces and pawns aren't coordinating. This went from being a lot worse for me to being pretty reasonable. Okay. Um... Airy. Wait, I do knight takes g2, right? Or do I do queen g6? Queen g6 attacks his knight, he has knight takes bishop. I do knight takes g2, might do knight takes bishop? I don't know. Um... Lots of tactics here. Uh, I think I do have to do knight takes g2, though. Terrifying as it is. Alright, here we go. Um... The thing is, that only wins a pawn. Um, which, it appears that I'm promptly giving back on h6. Uh, this is not good at all. Get my bishop outside my pawn chain. Oh, he's got clever tactics too. Um, yeah, so I have to just continue development. And I should say, I'm down to a minute and a half, he's got two minutes, so this is not good. Still down my pawn. Hmm.
Alright, he's not threatening to actually take my knight. Wait, if I take on f2, and then we exchange... No, oh, no, that does not work. Um, what else can I try? Ah, shoot. I've got to do the obvious moves, even though they don't get me anywhere. That's a pity. If he takes my rook, I've got to do queen takes. I'm completely out of tactics at this point. The only thing in my favor is the weaknesses of his d5 pawn. Oh, I walked into a fork. Um, and he didn't do it. I need to move much faster, as I'm down to 10 seconds. Um, I can take his knight. I can no longer take his knight. Aha! I am the best for now. Nothing is ever going to keep me down, apparently. Well, so current rating 2045. So, um, assuming I continue to be awful at 2048, I think we know how this is going to end. E4? That's not E4. Okay, let's go to a Grinfeld. E4? Yeah, there is E4. E4, castle. This is the part where I pretend that I know mainline Grinfeld. I think I'm supposed to, like, develop pieces or something. Um, apparently e6 is a move in some lines. I don't remember. Not at this hour, anyway. Um...
All right, e5. You know, each move is supposed to have a purpose, but e5 and the Grunfeld? Really? I question the purpose of that move. Um, I mean, okay, my setup is highly unorthodox from what I do know of the Grunfeld. Yeah. I know e6 isn't the move. Um, I also know it doesn't, like, lose instantly. So that's kind of why I've been playing it. Um... Okay. Um. Hmm. It's a tough choice. How do I take that back? Yeah, I do do this. Um, now if I play h6, he can't do knight e4, he'd have to go back to f3, or something like that. I could also consider f6 here, which I know is not theory, um, but it would free my bishop, but it also harass my queen. Just continue development, if I can. Just play principled moves like Rook C8. Well, I've played some Grunfeld games before. Basically, Black's supposed to suffer through terrible tactics and then barely escape with a draw. Um, unlike the King's Indian, where Black's supposed to get squashed positionally and barely escape. Either, well, sometimes he doesn't escape. Sometimes he just wins. Um, I can't say that King's Indians often end in draws. Uh, yeah, I can now like consider Knight H4. I'm feeling crazy. How is he going to protect F3? I need to know. Okay, so that's how he protects f3, is he drops his knight on e4. If I looked even a little bit ahead, I could have found that. Alright. Um, that's okay, just don't panic. Don't worry about all these wonderful threats he's got all over my position. And for goodness sake, don't let him fork me. That would be sad. You no, know, he's kind of controlling the open file at the moment. Uh, except now I have f3. If I take king f2... Um, that's 
the uh, end of that combination. There's nothing beyond that. But now I can kind of harass his A pawn. No, I'm not going to win that though. Um, maybe we go back to my plan from earlier. Get my bishop out. This is completely insane, but I'm not afraid of it anymore because my position needs something. This would, if this pawn gets removed, both my bishop and rook get into the game very quickly. And white's normal counterplay is just kind of hidden here. Um, now if I do that though, he plays rook c5, and then I just take his pawn. Yeah, there's. I don't see any checkmate here. I think you're making something up. I could play rook takes a2, or I could play queen takes a2. I think queen takes is better because then I don't have a d pawn to worry about. Um. I should mention I'm still down on time. My opponent has two minutes. I've got a minute and a half. Uh, so this, anything could happen here. I'm going to put some pressure on black or white to trade rooks. Um. And I guess I just march forward. What else is there? Very hard for black to secure this position. There's a very good chance that I'll miss a tactic in time pressure. Okay, my bishop on f8 could be more active on other squares. Even trading? No. This is terrifying, but I can't move any of my position. I can't move any of my pieces here without opening myself to some kind of tactic. 
any move that I make has a downside here. Yeah, my opponent's well aware of that. Um, Queen c4 is really the safest move I can make in the position. There are no safe moves in a Grinfeld. There are just winning moves and losing moves. And knight e7 crushes me, but I didn't see that. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? My rating is now 2049. So I accomplished my objective, surprisingly. My opponent wants a rematch, so I'll give him it. But hey, I made it. Godofsky 2049. Oh yeah. And now I've got 11 people spectating my game. And now I have zero. That was quick. Um, Oh, queen b3 against the Grinfeld? Yeah. Um, I don't know what to tell you about that one. There's tons of Grinfeld theory, and I'm in no position to teach it. I've seen some of it, but I couldn't teach it to save my life. Um, So, what am I even doing in this position? Other than just developing my pieces and not getting mated. Hmm. And here he's going to play b4, kind of forcing me to take d7. Oh, but then he takes c3. But then I take this check. Yeah, that's a good move on his... Well, I mean, it's a reasonable move on his part, trading knights. Okay, b4. is really the only active square for my knight. So it may not be harmonious with my queen, but I need to play that.
All right, knight d5. I expected that move, which is why I wasn't so concerned. Um, yeah, it looks impressive, but forces my queen to move to a different active square. And I don't see what black is up to. In the meantime, I'm threatening... Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, you do attack a pawn, but you don't even win the pawn. Oh! Well, okay, it looks like he's going to pull some of my own English attack stuff on me. Um, let's trade. Knight takes the bishop c3, and... I give up this pawn, but I get tons of activity. Pawn takes. I think I play just c3, or maybe even c4. No, c3. Assuming that doesn't lose the pawn right away. Which it kind of does, so I can't do that. Um, like c3 takes, takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes. And I've lost a pawn. Um, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, sure, it does remove this bishop. Uh, I was going to say, I think b3, except then does queen a2. I don't have a good way out of this. Okay. Um, so, therefore, ergo, in conclusion, I need to do something. I guess I just let him have c2, and I go for his pawns. I was thinking I could just take e7 here. Um, turns out that gives up a queen. So, yeah, my time is really ticking low, but I'm not coming up with any ideas. I guess I just go for the obvious, but this is, like, completely busted. So far beyond busted, that I don't know why I'm doing it. His knight on d5 is very well positioned.
I'm down to 14 seconds. I'm going to move faster. Still at 14 seconds, guys. You think I can win this? I do. It's going to be messy, though. My opponent wants another rematch, so I'll offer it to him, um, or I'll accept that. <sighs> yeah. You gotta be resilient. Yeah. Being resilient means that you have chances that most players don't. Um, at this point, I'm not going to be doing any more of the uh, 2048 on the right side, so... Um, sorry for anybody who finds that annoying. Yeah, I'm just being a bit exhausted at this point. Really, the only reason I keep playing on is because my opponent keeps offering me these rematches. And keeps blowing it. Um, see here. Okay, I could double white's pawns. Maybe that's what I need to do. Ah, a clever, subtle threat. 
Which, unfortunately, I'm not... Like, never works, but here, somehow it does. So... Oh, I just have to play g5 here. Uh, Yeah. I keep telling everybody it's important to know your end games. Apparently, well. You can't know all your end games because there's just too much to know. But um, the more end games you do know, the better your chances are in general. So uh, I think this is going to be the last game of the stream, guys. Um, so, uh, I'll see if I can uh, direct you guys to somebody else who's uh, running a good program here. Um, I could perpetual check in here. Do I have better? I could play bishop f5. That would delay his king's advance. That significantly delays his king. I am up one pawn. I wish I could say that bishop e3 was clever, but no, I just totally missed it. And now this is just flat out drawn. There's nothing either player can do to uh, make any serious threats. Now white is, um, well, white's down a pawn, so he's um, asking for trouble with that kind of play. He needs to push c4, except he can't afford to push c4. You know, I completely agree. Um, at this point, black is totally winning this. Um, or at least it has excellent winning chances. I think starting with stopping, if I I don't want to play c4 because that makes it hard for me to push my pawns. But 
Um, White doesn't have time for c4 here. I need to push a5 at any event. If he does play c4, then I just round it up. Um, Oh yeah, you're right. That is Comic Sans font, isn't it? I need to carefully coordinate my pieces. Um. 